Content warning. Top Drawer Studio is dealing with the pandemic too. We're letting you know so you can decide if it's the show for you right now. The whole show will be on YouTube later, so if you need to step away, you won't miss a thing. Be kind to yourself. My name is Corrine, and I'm the rainbowiest game dev alive. With my team at Top Jar Studio, we're developing Tales of the Dust Bunnies, a game about dust bunnies escaping the vacuum cleaner through the power of friendship. We've struggled with funding and other evils. I've kept my cool, except for that one time, but that'll never happen again. Act 1. One little footnote. One morning at the sister's apartment. Another fabulous day. That kind of day, huh? Still studying the art of ghosts of Tsushima? Don't overdo it, okay? Sleep is important. She doesn't get it. You didn't. I did. A musical episode? In this economy? Seems like exactly what we need. Hmm. Later at the office. Our office. A little corner in a co-working space for game devs. Good morning! Look at us on the other side of the alpha build, working towards beta! Woot! Uh, uh, sorry. Game dev translation, please. Oh, um... Alpha is when all of the functionalities are in the game and there are no crashes. 
the art isn't complete or the levels, that's what beta is or should be. Should be. It's game dev. Definitions are more like loose recommendations. I see. Any chance we have some time to improve the art implementation process? That'll make my work a lot easier. No, Wackers, mate. Forgive my intrusion, but I ought to mention that there are still crashes in the build. No, Wackers, mate. And some variables are missing, so I can't make the obstacles just right. No, Wackers. <laughs> Breaking news. Oh no. There be wackers. Shall we begin? You see, we report that a contagion has struck every nation. We can follow simple rules and snap. We save lives. See if people stay at home This virus can't roam Social distance It's very clear to see And some isolation helps contagion go down Contagion go down Contagion go down Just some isolation helps contagion go down In the most life sad Hornets. I'm not sure the song makes it any better. I regret nothing. <laughs> well, that's... Hmm... We reacted pretty well, considering. We mostly work online already, so let's be extra safe and move to working from home today. Uh, we need to check a few things for the remote connection, but yeah, it should be fine. I shall borrow testing devices and guard them with my life. Can I... Take my computer. My personal laptop isn't powerful enough. Oh, yeah. A week later, in a peg's call. It's great how quickly everyone has settled and how productive we are. Oh, oh I didn't realise my camera was on. <laughs> Good thing I'm wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> Ahem. Who's the uh, kitty? Oh, this is uh, Robin. Yeah, she's Good company. Hmm. Amy? Amy, you're muted. I said, so cute. 
Okay, so, uh, let's talk about the additional bunnies we need in the game. I think we need six more to wrap up the collection. I'm concerned about leaving enough time for Misha to get the sounds for the bunnies' superpowers. Those need to be timed to the animations once they're in the game. I can do those animations first, but it's going to be hard to put them all in game if the exporter isn't fixed. Uh, what's an exporter? It's like a translator. 3D models are in one language when Corinne works on them, but the game engine only understands a different language. The exporter is the bit of code that turns one language into the other. That sounds fairly important. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's on my list. That and the uh, shader improvements. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, stupid again. Uh, shader? Don't, don't call yourself stupid. Um, shader, right. Um, in the real world, when a light shines on an object at an angle, the object will cast a shadow, right? Yeah, right, laws of physics and all that. Yeah, yeah, I know stuff. Well, in a game, there is no law until a line of code says that there is. So originally, shaders were the bit of code that told shadows to exist. Now they also do a bunch of cool visual effects. There's a lot more code in the art than I expected. <laughs> That's video games for you. Um, some studios even have technical artists. Like some kind of weird Kareen David hybrid. Exactly. Ooh. Okay, cool. I'll also need to tune the powers. So what is the name of the power variable? Yes. The, the name of the variable is yes? No. What is the power variable? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. What? The name of the bunny's power variable. What? Mm -hmm. Let me try again. I need to tune the bunny's unique superpower. The name of the variable for that is what? Yes! It's the meeting that never ends Yes, it goes on and on, my friend Some people started talking not knowing what they would say And they will keep arguing this forever just because It's the meeting that never ends Yes, it goes on and on Uh, we also need to fix bugs on existing art assets. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started talking not knowing. Oh, and uh, don't forget to wrap up the logo too. Act two. Off screen, no one can hear you the next day. I'm going for a walk around the block. Are you coming with? Nah, I want to start early so I have more time to learn Weaver 3.0 expert techniques in the evening. Have fun. Okay. Bunnies. Six new fluffy bunnies. I need inspiration. Oh, with the extra time in the day, I'll definitely learn more Weaver 3.0 tricks. Um, sorry, what? It's one o'clock. You should have some food. Oh, I'll grab.
up something in a second. How can I help? We found ourselves discussing the cat paw obstacle. It trembles when it retracts from the player's path. We felt it may require your attention. Yeah, I checked it. The janky bits in how the animations blend together, like the paws on the ground and then the paw retracting aren't quite aligned. They're missing a frame or something. Mm. Um, I'll have a look in my files and see if there's something I can do. Hmm, that would be most appreciated. I've also assigned you a bug about bunnies disappearing unexpectedly. Yeah, I think there's a problem in how the model interacts with the shader. Yeah, not sure if it's a code fix or an art fix. So, yeah, we should investigate. Mm. I'll, uh, I'll add that to my list. Fantastic. Yeah, great. Okay. Bye. Farewell. A little stretch, a little food, and then I'll be super productive and do all the things. A few hours later. I created this song to express my feelings about this year. That is it. That is the whole song. Misha's being a creative genius. And here I am. And I haven't even fixed the bugs. <sighs> How about calling it a day? I, I just want to wrap up one thing. One success. That's all I'm asking. Okay, wanna talk about it? Ha ha, you can't draw. Train wreck imminent. I am here for it. No, 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 no. We, we, we vanquished her. We vanquished her two years ago. I strangled her so hard, her eye came off. I know, I remember, I guess. I guess this pandemic has a way of resurrecting old ghosts. <sighs> nah, I'm, I'm about to squash this bug. Woohoo! I'll leave you to it then. Export. Oh, let's. Try this again, exporter. Don't crash this time. Okay, now let's look at it in game. Ah! There must be a Weaver 3.0 expert trick. I just need the right tutorial. At the end, of the next day. Hello everyone, uh, I wanted to follow up on the bunnies. How's the progress on getting more of them in the game and polishing the existing ones? I've been trying to solve the bug with the cat paw. I haven't had much time to design new bunnies. Oh yeah, and I'm uh, yeah, a bit swamped helping the other Davids with our elusive crashes. And then there are those uh, variables for Amy. Yeah, haven't had time to fix the exporter. Oh, no, no calm down, Marion. Calm down, suit. No. The crashes are important, yes, but the cat paw can wait. Uh, Corrine, 
you should be able to work on the bunnies without the exporter improvements, right? Yes, I can focus on the designs for now. But if the exporter doesn't get fixed, it'll take me a lot longer to get the bunnies in game. That's okay. While you wrap up the designs, David should have time to wrap up the crashes, right? Everyone happy with the plan? Yeah, no whackers, mate. Sure. Great. Have a fantastic evening. <laughs> Look at me, I will never be a perfect CEO or a perfect leader, can it be? I'm not meant to play this part. Now I see, all my strength goes out to my team these days, so they don't fall apart. has the energy to cook or bake? Well, not me. What will I order tonight? I do not know. Somehow I can't decide noodles or something fried. When will ice cream finally fill the void I feel inside? When will ice cream finally fill the void I feel inside? Meanwhile, at the sister's apartment. I'm going for my end of day walk. Wanna join? No, thanks. I use our old hour of commute to do some Weaver 3.0 tutorials. I'll take a break after. As you wish! I'm noticing a bit of a pattern. Do game devs often do research outside of work hours? Well, the game industry is always changing. So there's always something new to learn and some game devs are passionate and curious and learning brings them joy. But... Some juniors may feel like they have to do this to meet expectations. And some studios will subtly or explicitly tell their employees to grow and learn outside of office hours. Which sounds like a really slippery slope to me to an unhealthy work-life balance. Especially during a pandemic. Hmm. <sighs> My brain is mush. Everyone is doing so well, and I can't seem to pull it together. And I don't like having so much roots showing. If I can't dye my hair, maybe I should just shave it. There's a protest out there in the streets They won't put on that mask and they're wicking everything I'm not dealing with this
<laughs> a week later. Another fabulous day. Are you all right? <gasps> A bit overwhelmed, you know? Good days, bad days, pandemic roller coaster things. Anything I can do to help? Of course she would offer. She's designed the perfect user experience for this work from home thing. Nah, it'll pass. I've gone over all my mood boards and added a few ideas. I can get this done now. A thousand apologies for this intrusion. I simply wanted to... Uh, ah! I, I... Ah! Progeny! Progeny, please! <laughs> they uh, really enjoyed Misha's video. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to inquire about the outstanding visual bugs. We discussed priorities a few days ago. could uh, repeat your last sentence. Uh, uh, we deprioritized bug fixing until the Davids are available to help. I tried everything I could, but I'm blocked without them. Ah, oh, I was not aware of this sensible decision. Much thanks for the update. Oh, uh, Kareem? Any progress on the logo for our official announcement? <laughs> um, I'm starting today. Great. Uh, bye. <laughs> oh, little sis, what happened? <laughs> Your hair? Look, look at these roots. I haven't seen this much of my natural hair color in 50 
million years. I, I don't see anything. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be that big a deal to me. Oh, it's there. It's oh. there. I see. Yeah, I, I uh, can't experience it, but uh, I can sympathize. Thank you. Oh, little sis, you've run yourself ragged. What's the easiest problem we can solve right now? What can we simplify? My hair. I've, I've never dyed hair, but I'm sure I can Let's figure- shave it. I've always wanted to try it, and it takes all of the dyeing and washing and drying tasks away. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll go grab what we need. Have a sit. It's, it's hard to separate work and play right now, but I've found that creating a structure for my day works really well for me. Things like taking a walk before and after work. I just lose track of time so easily. That's why I have a few alarms to help me. Maybe it's something you could try. I love it. My head is so light. Such a weight off my shoulders. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you want to try coming on my walks for the next few days? Why not? Oh, Amy. You're dealing with all of this so well. Sorry I'm a bit of a wreck. Don't apologize. We're all struggling in our own way. Yeah, right. the next few days. Obnoxious alarm sound, obnoxious alarm sound, obnoxious alarm sound. I broke my day in little boxes. Morning prep, obnoxious walk with sound, Amy, sound, sound. catching up with the team, then the bunnies and the logo and some bugs, yoga at lunch, bunnies, logo bugs, walk with Amy, dinner, Art station portfolio, Weaver 3.0 tutorials, and repeat. It's working great. Really, I'm halfway done. I should really stick to my schedule. But it's a privilege to walk away. But I've donated and supported. Maybe... Maybe I should care for my mental health. Am I selfish? Oh. Shh. 
Show, show my merry men daddy has to work. What do you want? Oh, uh, we were wondering if you could uh, tolerate the finicky exporter a little bit longer. Oh, we're so close to fixing the crashes. We could always look at switching tasks around, but, you know, that's not ideal. Is it just me, or has that been, like, delayed a few times? It has. That's not uncommon. It's tempting to prioritize progress on the game over developing the tools to speed up making the game. Yeah, right. But that does seem somewhat short-sighted. Um, a little bit. Sometimes it's the right choice to get funding or make a marketing push, but it can still be frustrating for the team. Hmm. Gotcha. Well, if you have other priorities, sure, I can deal with the current exporter. The devil you know, right? Obnoxious alarm sound, obnoxious alarm oh. sound, obnoxious alarm <laughs> Sorry sound. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, the exporter slows me down a bunch, but if Sam is okay with it, I guess I am too. No, wackers, mate. A few days should work for us to wrap things up. Okay. Yeah, I I guess I can wait that long. Anything else? My old friend Seems it's just me and you again Netflix is full yet seems barren Because I'm without my brethren And the weight of doing things all alone my bone within the bounds of ice heart. We are not meant to be on No way we could have been prepared. We don't know when we'll hug again and unexpected source of pain and the hobbies we picked to help us cope barely shine home within the bounds of our soul Nah, all good. Okay, thanks, bye. It's all good. I can do the things. Of course I can. Look at me go. A week later. I finished the rough version of the bunnies yesterday, and I set them aside to try and fix other visual bugs. It all took forever because the exporter keeps crashing. But this is a new day, and time for me to take a fresh look at my designs. Different silhouettes that will read well in game. Check. Color coding. Check. Cool personality and customization. Check. Oh. Oh, no. You're... You're not a bunny. You're a mouse. A mouse? <laughs> and you? You're... Are you a poodle? And these... These may be the color of ears, but they're not ears, are they? And this logo. How are you both boring and too busy? <laughs> it's okay. I can fix this. <laughs> Maybe I 
should start over again. They're obviously useless. I mean, I, I, I kind of see what she's talking about, but she's been a bit harsh on herself, don't you think? Yeah, I think it's one of those cases where the bunnies aren't the biggest problem. Uh, gotcha. That said, there's a moment in any iterative process where you wonder if the work can be fixed or if you're digging down a bunny hole and should start over instead. And I'm guessing that sometimes starting over is actually the right choice. Exactly, which makes it hard to decide whether or not it's the thing you should do right now. I don't think it's the case for her here, though. She figured out a lot of important things with this first draft, and it's just a first draft. Well, I hope she can see that too. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Morning, Kareen. Morning. I uh, was wondering if the logo is ready. And I'm super excited to see the new buddies. We need to sync up to make sure your visuals and my power designs work well together. So we, uh, we thought we'd just check in on where you're at. <laughs> oh, little sis. <laughs> Sam, I think we should hang up. Corinne and I will take the rest of the day off if that's okay with you. Oh, uh, uh, of course. I can't do it. <laughs> You're all doing so well, and I'm not. I tried everything, and I can't do it. Act three, all imperfect together. The next day. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Maybe I should quit. Ahem. As your producer, I have made a mistake. For the past few weeks, I have focused on the things that are pretty normal about our work, and I have hustled you towards normal deliverables. But these are not normal times, and we need to be more flexible so we can look after one another. I've been going to therapy to cope with the stress of my responsibilities. I'm telling you this because I want you to know that it's okay if you need help. You're not alone. I love you and everything you stand for, Sam is right. I know I look like I've got it figured out, but I have to take breaks sometimes to sit with my negative feelings and deal with them. Never thought I would say this. Thank you for acknowledging me. And that's how I cope. Oh, yeah, you. you're so good. I feel guilty about filing so many bugs because... I know they stress you all, and, and I yell, oh, 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 in a pillow after the kids are asleep. It's most cathartic. We love oh, you. We yes, you I best. feel you on that one. Yeah, I uh, re-watch old TV shows because I need their familiar escape. I don't have the energy to try something new and, and risk disappointment. Not right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. yeah, I sew masks and I give them away because I'm anxious around people who don't wear them. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. absolutely. Mm. I bake and brew and make things to ground myself and silence my brain. Mm. Oh, yeah. Delicious. 
I adopted 14 cats, so I don't feel so alone. Oh, yeah. Mm. Cats. I run to channel my nervous energy or else I can't sleep. That's how I cope. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right, yeah, good. Oh, yeah, no. Hi. Hey. It's okay. You don't have to share if you don't want to. We, we won't judge. I... I think I need to be kinder to myself. Accept my limits. Reduce my expectations. You oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Double wounds are yeah. the wounds. Thank you for sharing. I don't feel so out of place now. Yes. Well, we may all feel vulnerable right now, but... When we're together What trying times Can't we make better But the apocalypse mm -hmm. We've all been there The same old crits Why are we scared? Why well, can't we fix Through conversation We'll work on our collaboration No perfect trying I love it when a team comes together. And quotes from Buffy. And when managers understand that workers are human beings. Aww. I've looked at our budget, and I think the government's pandemic fund gives us leeway to push back the beta. While the bugs matter to me, I will take another look at the priorities so Kareen can get the help that she needs. Yeah, well, I want to be your right-hand man, Kareen. Yeah, we'll smash those visuals. <laughs> I'll help the two of you troubleshoot the characters. Dream team to get the bunnies in the game. Yeah! That is a great plan. The rest of the team and I will make sure to limit interruptions so that you can focus. Yeah, could we maybe add some social time to our calendar? I miss hanging out with everyone. Good point. It's weird not being in the office. Want to help me figure this out? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so we divided. Later that day. Oh, I love the different characters. They're so cute. I'm Toad the Explorer. <laughs> I'm the wizard. <laughs> he has the best hat. <laughs> oh, thanks. I like their general concept, but I don't think they look quite right. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. There's... There's something with the ears. Yeah. Too round? That's it! Think of box bunnies and Peter Rabbit. They, they have, have pointy ears. ears. Okay, making some notes. More tapering on the ears. Oh, and their floof. Their floof doesn't... Floof, it, it, it should be floofier. Do you mean they're cottontails? Yeah, 
not sure if it's the shape or the colour is the problem, but that their tails need floofiness. Mm. Yeah, you're on to something for sure. Anything else? Maybe, maybe swap the red and the blue colour schemes? I feel like the mechanic is a missed opportunity to reference that, that World War II feminist poster. Oh, Rosie the Riveter. That's the one. That's a great idea. The new routine is simple. I catch up with David in the morning to talk about the exporter, the shaders, and other visual bugs. And in the afternoon... I work undisturbed on one bunny. So, uh, when do you think they'll all be done? Tomorrow end of day? Hmm? Is Sam cocking an eyebrow? I think so. <laughs> oh. Right. Maybe end of the week is more reasonable. Good job, little sis! Sounds good. One by one, without any more tears, I finished the bunnies. The exporter is fixed, so the bunnies are all in game now. <gasps> Aren't they the cutest? Oh, so cute, so kawaii! Oh, the final ones have so much more detail, but, but even without that, it's crazy how like the small changes to the shape of the ears and the cotton tail, the floof, make all the difference. I know, right? Every single line and every color alters our perception of the art. Artists have to think about all of that and figure out if the combination is just right and works with everything in the game. There are a lot of ways to draw a dust bunny. Ah, but only one that is right for the tails. Exactly. Some Friday afternoon. There is only one thing left to do. Welcome to our Friday Social Hangs. <laughs> Please give a warm welcome to your host, David A. Good morning, Oh yeah, we've made it through another week of isolation. Woohoo! And our very own oh-so-talented Corrine has volunteered to demo something today. <laughs> oh, yes! Yeah. Take it away, Corrine! I am proud to present you with... Oh, sorry, the, the share screen button moved. Ah, uh, here it is. To present you with... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The silhouettes of our bunnies at the top are both pleasing to the eye and enticing to the mind. And the yellow, it's like sunshine. Yeah. And the sky and the bushes in the letters. Oh, gosh, I miss the outside. It's perfect, little sis. Absolutely perfect. Uh, thank you. That's all I have to present today. Well, that was plenty. Oh, I am so happy. As a young artist, starting my career, blinded by ambition, along came a tear. From trying to work through a worldwide pandemic, perfectionism, it made my life frantic. 
chilled my wits. Ice cream is dinner. When loneliness hits you, log in multiplayer. Drowning in the shouts of kids running about. Cutting ourselves slack is the only way out. It's normal to stress or even second guess. Audience, would you? Now let's move on to the silly part of our program. You may want to stand for this. <laughs> <laughs> 